All right, on today's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our TensorFlow course, and we're still doing our Human Emotions Detection module. Let's have a look at what we went over today. Yesterday, if you recall, we went over the process of implementing data augmentation into our code, and today we're going to do some light reading and pick up where we left off. So now that we have implemented augmentation into our code, we may have noticed that the performance of our model has dropped. To understand why, we can look at the visualiz visualization of our data set, which will show us that after carrying out the, the rotation, we have images that are rotated at very unusual angles compared to the standard position of the images we have in our validation training set. So we have to ensure that when carrying out the random rotation operation, we limit the angle at which we could carry out this rotation. Now, I ran it already. I forgot to actually uh, stop it halfway to show you the guys the uh, images, but some of them were tilted a little more than usual. Some were tilted all the way left. Some were tilted all the way right. I didn't see any upside down images, but yeah, so that's what's going on with the rotations. So, so with that said, we have to specify that we only want image rotations that tilt to one side or the other slightly, not completely upside down or completely turned to one side or the other. We can specify the degree of the tilt by adjusting the value in the random rotation method. Let me go down here. And uh, the documentation tells us that the value in the random rotation gets multiplied by 2 pi, pi equals 180 degrees. So basically we're multiplying our value by 360. So for example, if we take the default number that we have in our random rotation, which is 25 and multiply it by 2 pi, we get an equation like this, 0.25 times 2 pi or 0.25 times 360. In this case, both answers are 90, which indicate a tilt of 90 degrees. And let me show you what that looks like in the actual code. Now we did have to implement everything that we did above our code so everything can get initialized and we can pick up everything that comes after i tried to do it where i was writing the code at and it wasn't picking up any of our labels or images or anything like that or our data augmentation because it's initialized after everything we've written so we have to write it above everything or write it above our code so we can get initialized as you can see here this is the uh, 0 0.25 that we have and this is 0 0.25 to 0 0.25 01 it's just going from this to this so that's the level of, that's the level of that's the level of rotation we want. We want it to go from this to this. That's the only wiggle room we wanted. Now, this is the original one, but we changed it to negative 0 0.025 to 0 0.025. This is going to be a negative 90 or negative 9 to a positive 9. So we limited the rotation it can make. So it can no longer go from 90 to 91. It can only go from negative 9 degrees to a positive 9 degrees. And that's how we implement it right here. And that's how we control the rotation in our work augmentation now that's pretty much what we did all day and i did run everything to make sure everything still is run you can see our code still runs and everything still goes through perfectly fine like i said i'm going to do this every every no, i'm going to say every module but every new piece of code that we run i'm going to make sure i run it to make sure we can still access our code and still run it every step of the way and like before when we kept getting hiccups and we had to bypass things i'm just going to run it every chance we get to make sure everything is still working smoothly so as you can see after we implemented the augmentation Everything is still working perfectly fine, so we can move forward now. And the next thing we're going to be going over is the... What was the next piece we're going to be going over? It's going to be the, the data augmentation strategy called Cut and Mix. So we'll be doing that tomorrow, and of course, I will be keeping you posted on that. But for now, it's the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.